Welcome to the PBVG Gamescast. My name is Steve. Rich. Mo. And we are the Passionate Plane Video Gamers. In today's episode, we're going to discuss our most anticipated games of 2017. But before we get there, we have the big news. The best news to start my Monday. The Super NES Classic Edition is officially announced by Nintendo. It's releasing on Friday, September 29th for $79.99. Coming with two controllers this time, wired, and the controller and the wires are 24 in inches larger than the NES Classic. So it's five feet long. Nintendo, <laughs> you heard, you heard the people, the people spoke, and you added 24 inches. And Mo, show them what 24 inches looks like. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, just show our audience. Just show them what 24 inches looks like. The difference between the wires. <laughs> it's not what he wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Just plop it on the table, man. Show him what 24 inches looks like. I don't know where we're going with this. <laughs> you know exactly where you're going You're not going to start calling me Super Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Call you Donkey Kong, man. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country is coming back. And with it, it comes with 21 games. 20 games plus a bonus unreleased Star Fox 2. It was completed but never released. So, starting out, everyone heard the Super NES as an NES Classic had a huge clusterfuck of supply. And if you want to hear is my... That a thing? That is a thing, yes. Oh, okay. If you want to hear What's my that? story, it's in episode 7, my adventure by the NES Classic of what the fuck I had to go through at Best Buy for four hours, waking up early. What's the first game you played on there? The first game I played on the NES Classic... I don't think I played it. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's, no, no, I'm joking. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 3. That was the first one. Actually, my wife and I, we played for about two and a half hours. Super Mario Bros. 3. And I actually played over the weekend. Played some more Super Mario Bros. I was feeling it for a classic. So, Nintendo announced that they would produce a significantly more units than the NES Classic. Significant more units than the NES Classic. They're currently planning to ship until the end of calendar year 2017, with nothing to announce regarding possible shipments beyond this year. So they're being transparent, letting everyone know, not like last year with the NES Classic, as in no one fucking knew that it was going to be limited, but coming clean, nothing announced after 2017. So how many, how many are going to be made, are we assuming? A significant amount. No, I mean, what's the number? So, Nintendo, the last report that they made of the NES Classic is they reportedly shipped 2.3 million NES Classics worldwide from November to April. Shipped 2.3 million. So, whatever a significant amount above 2.3 million is, that's so is, what they're is doing. Is that like 2.4, 2.5, 2 2.8? So, instead of waiting two. four hours in line at Best Buy, I'm going to wait three hours. That is what that means. That is what that means. So the reason why they're doing that is their long-term efforts are focused on delivering great games for the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo 3DS. And this is a quote from Nintendo. We are offering the SNES Classic Edition in special recognition of the fans who show tremendous interest in our classic content. So they're doing that for us. For us, the people. That they are bringing the Super NES limited edition to the people. They're the bane. Doing it for the people to bring us the SNES Classic. So before I get into the list of games that are on it, what was your initial impressions when you heard it? About the price? The console? I know you guys are so excited for the NES Classic Edition. I actually like the lineup. The lineup. I like the lineup of games. I wish they would have included... Uh some other some other games that I think are, are trivial to the actual um, Super Nintendo. You know, there's there's a, a couple games that I wish they would have made that mark, but <clears throat> you know, <laughs> I guess beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I don't know. So what about twenty games? So the NES Classic had thirty games for sixty dollars. This has twenty games plus a bonus, twenty one for eighty dollars. Oh, but they're sixteen bit now, so. 16-bit. Yeah. That's, that's twice as much. That's actually kind of like 40 so it's $4 games. per game. 
Wait, well, counting Star Fox 2, it's the last and it's a new unreleased game. So I will announce, I'll talk about the games that are going to be a part of the Super NES Classic, by alphabetical order. It's going to be Contra 3, The Alien Wars, Donkey Kong Country, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, F-Zero, Kirby Superstar, Kirby Dream Course, Mo, you got two Kirby games, mm -hmm. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Mega Man X, Secret of Mana, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which has never been, un never been released, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighter, Super Castlevania 4, Super Goals and Ghosts, Super Mario Kart, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, Super Mario World, Super Metroid, Super Punch-Out, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. So that is the lineup of 21 games in the Super NES Classic. What do you guys think of that lineup? Besides the games, we'll, we'll discuss later what games or what game we think is missing that should have been added. What do you think? You said Final lineup? Fantasy 3. Final right? Fantasy 3. Yeah, that's... I guess six was a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, so, but isn't it Confusion Three is actually six? I, I don't know. I'm not Final Fantasy. Please don't put any comments. <laughs> I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. I just think I thought three <laughs> and six is on the Super it, Nintendo. It got game. mixed up with the Japanese version, so yeah, it sits in there. But I mean, it, it's good to have number three on there. I thought number three was one of the really good, really done. Like that's when they started getting into storytelling and they started getting in depth with storytelling. I thought. Um, yeah, they were playing with what they could do. Yeah, and uh, for that time frame, like I thought it was a really impressive game, so I'm pretty excited about Final Fantasy, you know, three. Was there a second game that you said you care about? Or? Um, yeah, I, I forgot what was. Earthbound. Not Earthbound. I do want Earthbound. Yeah, that's a that's a game a lot of people didn't get to play. I've never played <coughs> Earthbound. Yeah, it's good, and that's the one I've I told heard. you. Undertale is the unofficial oh, sequel. To yeah, it. I heard. And also Secret of Mana, I've heard as well. That there's yes. two games that I've That's never cool. played before. But Earthbound is the one I've always heard. Uh, another one was Chrono Trigger. That's that's the one Chrono I thought Trigger. they should have been. They should have put it on there because with those three, that that would have been like a pretty good cross. If you've never played Chrono Trigger, it's just amazing game. Yeah. Great storyline. The the RPG. The the fighting is completely different from every anything that I've ever seen. So. <clears throat> um, I, I thought it would have made the list and I'm just kind of upset it didn't <laughs> 20 games is going to be games that are left out and Rich let you speak a little bit what are your impressions That's about the system and the lineup it's a good lineup a lot of RPGs so there's a lot of hours that are there but it makes sense to me it's more of the same which I'm not going to I don't fault you guys for being excited I just I don't think that it's the best choice but it'll make them money so best choice for what what they could do with the library so they have it on the virtual console, but they're like Good. Super Nintendo's eight dollars yeah. on the virtual console per so game. So it, it kind of shows you when they throw in the physical manufacturing process and the, the licenses and all that kind of stuff, they can get it down to four dollars <laughs> on on these twenty titles, including an unreleased title. Unreleased. But they can't do that on the virtual console. That's where I have problems with their business practices. But it doesn't take away from the fact that this is a good deal. It's not. It's not bad. It's just. It's one of those. It's more of the same. I. I don't think that this nostalgia trip. You need to keep being sent down when they could do digital distribution, or you could. I don't know. Make some fucking games for the Switch. But that's me just complaining. You guys have every right to be happy about it. It's there's. That's a great lineup. There's nothing to be mad at. I just don't want it to be exactly what I think it's going to be, which is. Nothing but vague talk of significant improvements and stuff like that, and it doesn't amount to anything. They've added 24 inches to the cord. <laughs> Holy fuck, that cord is so how fucking long, small. How long is the, the cord on your PlayStation 4? Oh, it's wireless. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, I had to think about that. No, wait, wait. Cord. What, what about the Joy-Cons on your Switch? How, how long is the cord on? Oh, fuck. Um, your Xbox? Uh, <laughs> well, my controller doesn't work. but uh, No, but no, if, no, it did, my... if it did, how long is the cord on that? All wireless. All wireless. Huh. And that Sega Genesis that a cool guy got you guys. That did that was have wire? Actually, or? no. It was actually wireless. Why was the old weird. Sega retro. And you it's had weird. the option to use a classic wired if you, yeah, if you, if wanted you to. preferred. Yeah. I think that's the route that they could have gone with something like that, is 
have an option. If people want to play the classic wired way, let them do that. If they they like the, the well, add-on shit, why don't they just make some classic controllers and sell them for another 10 bucks, 15, 20, whatever. Hell, save Mad Cats from complete bankruptcy and utter damnation. Let them give them the fucking license to crap out some some stupid ones for for eight bucks each. They'll make money this this holiday and everybody will be happy. Yeah. And they all have ten ten foot cords. Everybody will be. I have extensions for the NES class, so hopefully those extensions will work for the Super NES. Wait. By my Super Nintendo. On the same controller, or at least for different, the two different controllers? No, you plug it into a, it's USB into the NES Classic, and then the controller plugs into that extension. No, I'm saying, were you, were you like doubling up on the extension so that it's even twice as long as the it, extension, it, or like just one? Quadruples. It's like 10 feet is the extension. That How long is I that have. in inches? Wait, I haven't, I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't actually seen like the, 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 what's it, the NES Classic console. Is it, was it USB connection? Like the actual, I haven't seen the the console itself, so I well, don't know. What I don't know the correct term, but it's not an actual like controller port. It's more of a yeah, you can, USB. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you can plug it in, and you can plug. It Thanks, in Rich, devices. for a guy who doesn't have the <laughs> the damn system. I'm, sc- I'm Dude, cutting through. I just know how to put it in. That's it. I plug it in. That's all I know. I'm surprised you got two hours of use out of it. But up. I don't know how it works. I just plug it in. Hit the on button. And then you're finished. And then I'm done. <laughs> After two hours, I'm done for good. That's <laughs> Wow. <laughs> so I'll, more than likely I'll be able to use those extensions, but five feet is still not fucking long enough. From Especially with living rooms these days. It's more like for a college dorm room. But hey, yeah. you get extra money, $8 for extension cables. Congratulations. Thanks, Nintendo. Because they didn't buy it for people that are homeowners in their 30s. They bought it for, or they made it for little kids that would be in their bedroom, who, sitting at the edge of their bed, playing on their... Who have never their played time. these games before. Exactly, never, that's no what idea. they made it for. And when they turn it on for five minutes, like, Daddy, why the fuck did you get this for me? It was my Xbox One X. <laughs> they would never say that, but I get, <clears throat> I get the gist of what you're trying to say. So with this lineup, I'm actually... I love it. I love a lot, but you can't really go wrong with Super Nintendo. There's, but there's a lot of games of how many you can fit in into 20. And I went through lists. I've only beaten about seven or eight of them. But like the, the Zelda, Mario, and Metroid were like probably one of the best games of that F-Zero's franchise. F-Zero's on there. That's good. The name. NF-Zero. F-Zero's on there. Play a little bit. Super Mario Kart. Mega Man X, I beat the eight bosses, but I never went to the castle at the end. Super Castlevania 4, I beat on the virtual console as Mario Kart. Star Fox, I only I rented it one time over a weekend so I played it for like two days which was like the best Friday like oh it's Friday mom let's go to the video rental store rent a game turn it back Sunday night but play it all weekend and I sucked I I wasn't very good I think I got to the second level of Star Fox but I've been waiting for it to come on the virtual console I've been wanting to give another try I'm a little older a little quicker reflexes I got more experience well you know you can't play the second game until you beat the first level first level first game yeah. So, I guess I'm never playing Star Fox 2 then. So. <laughs> Just warning you. But one game that I've always wanted to play, Earthbound, Secret of <clears throat> Mana, Final Fantasy. I'm not a big fan of turn-based. Why? You, Just too slow. I've never... It's not slow. Never got involved with turn-based. Depends. With, with Depends on the game. But one game I do want to try, though, is Chrono Trigger, which is turn-based. You right. like KOTOR, though. KOTOR is turn-based. But that's in real time. I'm not as in, oh, I select, no, it's... they hit, and then I have to wait for them to come hit. That's No, you do. You do have to wait for them. They don't jump the gun. If you sit there and just like drop the controller there's, and it's your there, turn, there's timers. they don't take another one. Yeah, there's timers. It was done differently because, you know, but there are timers. Yeah. You're both but, correct. But, but do you kind of understand what I'm saying with turn-based, though? Yeah. Okay, like from Final Fantasy, like what I've seen with turn-based games, like the old school is, you hit, and I want to attack, defend a potion, and then they go at the other opponent, they do it, and then I have to wait for the other person. I'm waiting like 10, 15 seconds, nothing's happening on screen. It's like this <laughs> battle screen, they're on this field. I have to wait for them to come and attack me, and they go back. Then I make my move and go back. That's, I don't have any, it's just not for me. Um, those are classic games, I'm not going to take anything away, because one of the best RPGs are turn-based. Mm. Um, just not my style. Um, but one game I've always been wanting to try is Chrono Trigger, which I might now. I've been waiting. I thought it was going to be on the Classic Edition, but I guess I'll have to get it on the Virtual Console. I need to plug in my Wii U somewhere. 
I don't know where I'm going to plug it in so I can play on a virtual console. <laughs> that was their whole plan, wasn't it? <laughs> that was the whole fucking plan. Me. So what's the, the one game that you guys would want added to the SNES Classic Edition that's not a part of the lineup? You know, like, my my biggest one was uh, <clears throat> Chrono Trigger, but I also adding, like, I thought they were going to add the rest of the Donkey Kongs. So I wouldn't have just added one. I thought they should have added, like, all three or... You know, I yeah. love the trilogy. That's what they did with Mario in the NES Classic. They had all three. I I loved all three of them. I can see, understand with Donkey Kong if you have a list of twenty of what others you take out, but I, I don't know why they wouldn't do twenty five and plus one. Like, there's so many great games yeah. out there, um, and I thought it was gonna be a hundred. Like, but I thought it was gonna be like thirty games. I would, oh, a hundred. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be a hundred dollars. <laughs> For, for the 30 games. And so I thought they were going to have the Donkey Kong trilogy that they can add. The one trilogy that I thought uh, they were going to add as well. Well, the one game that I wanted was Turtles in Time. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4, oh, Turtles right. in Time. But yeah, right. I know there's a rights issue because I know the Turtles 2, the arcade, there's a rights issue. So I, I came in with realistic expectations that one wasn't going to be on... I don't know what the fuck you have to do to get that game out again. I do have it on the Super Nintendo, but I believe someone out there in the world has it. I'll get it back sometime. Um, if they could have brought one of the games, actually, speaking of Turtles in Time, <clears throat> I got two, was, um, and, and now that we've all been talking Spider-Man, Maximum Carnage. Ooh, yeah. Anybody mm. ever? That game. That game was, was fucking amazing. Ghost Adding Ranger, that America, to that yeah. list... Yeah. Oh my god, even like the Avengers games. Those were classic good arcade games that transferred well onto Super NES. Like, Maximum Carnage was one of my best, like, two player co ops in the red down. cartridge. Yeah. yeah. The red cartridge, yeah. Um, another one would have been um, Double Dragon 4. I love mm. I love that, that game. I like no, that you were going to say Double oh, Dragon versus uh, Battletoads. No, uh, that one's good. I think too, it's called though. Super Double Dragon. Super Double Dragon, yeah. Because yeah. Double Dragon 4 just came out. Yeah, I yeah. Believe, yeah, just it recently. was. It's supposed to, yeah. Super Double the Dragon. Confusion, whatever, I'm sorry. But just that. add a super in front of everything, and then that's the super Nintendo Pretty much, for you. yeah. But that was a good fight. Those were, like, premium fighting games. I, Final Fight. Max, was a good one. Yeah. Final I Fight. Have I had that on the Virtual those. Console. I actually bought that. Yeah. So I was thrilled Monday morning when they announced, and my wife looked at me, are we going to get the SNS Classic Edition? Absolutely. And I'm prepared to wait in line. And we already discussed and talked all the bullshit about why do the fans have to do it. If I wait four hours for NES Classic Edition, I will wait eight hours for the Super Nintendo. No, I will not. But I will wait in line again. I will go through all that bullshit just to have an SNES Classic Edition. Just so I can have... Because my wife has never played the Super Nintendo. She went from the NES to the 64, and I just found that out yesterday. That she's never played a Super Nintendo, so I'm actually very excited. But you have a Super Nintendo. Like, literally, it's right like there. It's right in front of us. <laughs> yeah. Actually. We should set that bad boy right here. My, right now. my Super Nintendo for, that for, is that for, is yellow for proof. The yellow <laughs> Super Nintendo that's, that's has it been through has it been through a fire? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's the, no, the plastic. Happens, yeah. Plastic breaks. It's down a plastic there. that oh, they use, degrading. so you can tell it's an original yeah. Super NES with the plastic. Because like the third runs, they've got that uh, imperfection of the plastic. It's, it's, yep. Look at that. There you go. The actual. Super Nintendo. I like how it's uh, it's been through like a fire. Somebody peed yeah. on it, but the right and like cartridge entrance is all white. You can actually tell some of the color <laughs> or the yellow around it. It looks like someone just pissed over Super Nintendo. It's a little dusty, man. Yeah, it's because nobody's played it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what's gonna happen to the SNES Classic? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this with me. If you want it back, though, it's only forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for it right now. I'll wait in line. I'm waiting in line. It's original Super Nintendo. Oh, sorry. Most of it give me 50, throw. so. Yeah. Check out my listing on eBay. It will be skyrocket, but they said significant amount, but I don't trust Nintendo. There's going to be a storage. They're going to get their fucking stupid publicity. There's going to be long lines. this episode? I don't trust Nintendo. Yeah. <laughs> As in, oh, you know, we learned a lesson. I do like the release date, though. September 29th. 
because it gives them some time to recoup in the holidays. But at the November 11th, yeah. you have six weeks now until Christmas. Yeah. But now they said we have no plans after 2017. But I do believe they will ship at, in 2018. Because they're going to say, it's for the fans. There's been a high demand. We'll do it for you, because we love our fans. Thank you, Nintendo, for loving us. I really appreciate it. Hopefully... It comes from the heart. Hopefully they do come out. Making me wait in line. Almost get fired. So, next year, 2018, holiday season, or pre-holiday season, they'll do the N64 Classic, and it'll be $90, and there'll be 15 games on there. Should we discuss which 15 games they should include? That will be next week, actually. (laughs) We're off for the holidays. So. Yeah. Jumping the gun. Oh, that, yeah. Now, next episode. All right. Do we get it's a better controller than that fucking thing? <laughs> I don't want to use the controller. Wrong. I don't care. I held it from the middle. Like King Kong yeah, hands. you're holding it wrong. That's wrong. Oh. It's only, I that was what the majority of used. I used it. I did it wrong. I was my hands on the side. No, but I had mine in the middle. And then right here. And then I would go for side. I would switch. I switch. Leave me the good. fuck alone. Dude, I, I switch. That I switch controller. hands as well with the joystick. You know, he, sometimes he you controller. get a little tired. He He'll sit controller. on a hand and then he plays and he's like, "It's a different second player." I hated that controller. I don't care. I'll say it. Shit. Yeah, it's garbage. <laughs> so if the system is available that you don't have to wait in line, would you purchase the Super NES Classic Edition? Yes. Yeah, probably. Too bad it's not going to be fucking available in stores. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Too potential and did not. But we'll see. Nintendo, the ball's in your court September 29th. Uh, we'll see if they do pre-orders. I know they started to do pre-orders in did the they? UK, supposedly. Well, supposedly. I, I, I don't know if I can confirm. Doing they some... haven't guaranteed how many are going to be made, so they don't know how many are going to be shipped. How do you take pre-orders when you don't know how many you're going to get? Yeah, I don't think they will do pre-orders. Oh, here Makes in, in the states, they might do no, something. No, they else. will, and then they'll call you and tell you, "Sorry, we're not doing pre-orders. Do you want to switch your credit over to another game?" Well, that's happened to other game consoles as well. Yeah, not it's, just it's almost it. like NES. that's something we should talk about. Is GameStop's bad? No, it happened to Amazon pre-order pr- pricing yeah. as well hmm? with Amazon with with the Switch. It did happen with the Amazon yeah. Switch. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I was we that we, we got heard delayed that, a few weeks. Yeah, we actually. When we heard that news, we were looking at up stuff and we were wondering if ours got delayed, but ours was just fine. Oh, well, we did it the day it was announced, so. And they don't charge you up front, though. No. So. No, not at all. Well, I am very excited for the SNES Classic Edition. I've already got my place in line to wait until September 29th. What are you doing here, then? After this, after we're done recording, I'm going to go get in line. You said you already have your place in line. I do. I have it. I'm reserved. trying to follow the continuity. I'm paying this. someone to stand in line for me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's me. Money well spent. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> I paid him to come do the show. <laughs> you lost your spot. I'm so getting money all over the goddamn place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I paid you. I'm on pre-order, bitch. <laughs> really? No, stop it. Oh. <laughs> I'm still waiting for you to show him what 24 inches looks like. That's a private episode. Uh, ooh. For me and the viewers. That's not a no. That's not a no. That's why I don't subscribe to this the, channel. What the fuck's wrong with you? It's the only viewer called Heather. You okay, so go to our Patreon. And if we have you at the top tier, Mo will do a private session with you. We'll do it live. He's going to be on cam soda. Do fucking He'll live. give you the address. The only thing we're doing is playing video games together, so that's it. <laughs> We're doing it and fucking he's live. He's gonna put the emphasis on his joystick. We all know where this is going. And how how to hold it? Because you don't know how to hold it all around. Just one. Gonna need a lot of liquor and a lot of drugs for this. <laughs> what do you think's in that drink? Jeez. A little bit of both. The Bill Cosby. I don't the podcast. Here. Oh, that was a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what are you talking about? You need to get convicted. Isn't that the, the kind of logic we should use? <laughs> Brand loyalty until you tell me differently. (laughs) That is our take on the Super NES Classic Edition. Please let us know in the comments below what you think of the game lineup. And if you trust Nintendo that they will have enough supply for this holiday season.